Hello, uh, my name is Francois Tremblay. I'm the president for Prevo and Volvo Bus for North America. So uh, today actually we're here to talk about the new product we just actually launched last night, which is our new H345. And this is basically the flagship for uh, Prevo Motorcoach. What's new about this uh, great product? First of all, we had really focused when we developed it on making sure there was something for the operators, the drivers, but also the passengers. Let's start with the operators. For us, it was about cost of ownership. How could we make sure that we could improve and reduce the cost of operating these vehicles. First, we worked on the fuel efficiency. So by redesigning the product, you know, changing the vertical and horizontal axis and the curvature of the coach, we're working the underbody and everything, the mirrors, we were able to get up to 12% better fuel efficiency. So as you can imagine, this is quite substantial when it comes to the fuel price these days. Second, we really worked on improving the serviceability of the products, making sure it was easier to repair, faster to repairs, again, saving on repair time. Things like we've actually opened the side, you know, made, made the uh, end, uh, service door larger so you have easier access to junction box, all the electrical components. We even put the window of the driver part of the door instead of part of the coach so this way they can have access to mechanism. We did actually put a front trunk on the coach so now you can just open it when you want to repair the HVAC system, the wiper motors and everything. You want to change the filter really easy by doing so instead of having to dismantle all the, the dash and doing it from the inside and of course occurring the possibility of damaging the parts. The other thing we've done also from the operator is to make sure basically that the uh, everything about the coach also in terms of reliability because we spend a lot of time on validating everything we've done to ensure uptime and quality. When it comes to the driver, we redid the complete dashboard to make it more automotive-like. We really inspired ourselves from the automotive industry to make it nice, slick, nice design. We did a, use a lot of digital components. We have now kind of a digital touchscreen. Everything is integrated there. The navigation system, 360, backup cameras, all the things. So easily visible for the drivers. We redid the cluster also bringing new features in the cluster like knowing exactly which door if you have an open bay door on the outside and which one it is so to make it easier also to provide information to the driver we have a new steering wheel with all the integrated function as part of the wheel things like this to me to make the driver environment you know a really nice modern and intuitive uh, we also work on the visibility because you know when drivers operate coaches in an urban environment a lot of people a lot of traffic crossing in front of the coach and we had an improvement opportunity there so what we've done is we reduce the size of the a pillar on the size of the coach and with the new curvature of the windshield they have much greater visibility in the front angle you know dead angle of the vehicle so again that me that speaks about safety for people but also for the pedestrians on the road so little things like this really uh, improve uh, the experience of the driver When it comes to passenger, we completely redesigned the inside of the coach. First of all, when they enter the coach, we have a wider door. We redesigned the staircase to make sure it was more of a natural flow. We put lighting on it to make it inviting when they enter the coach. They get on top of the stairs, they see this beautiful open design. So what we've done is we redesigned the parcel rack to make it much more open. And we now have a standard Dynock off-white ceiling, which is really clean. We really got inspired more from the aerospace industry, looking at airliners and the way they were doing their interiors and everything. And the new shape basically gives us the opportunity, even a passenger sitting on the aisle seat can stand up without hitting, hitting his head on the, uh, on the parcel racks. Little things like this, you know, uh, really adds up to the experience. We also redid all the lighting system on the inside. We have 
back to front LED systems on the basically on the side walls on the under the the parcel racks and also between the the ceiling and the rack so it really creates now a really good lighting and environment in the coach you can even change color or the dent or the intensity so little things like this really create a nice environment Last but not least, the seats. We have new seats, our own design seats were basically much more modern. We actually hired an ergonomics person to work on the design for one year to make sure that they were comfortable for a long ride. Uh, we redid the foam and all the design and everything to make sure it was you know, great looking but also really comfortable. So you see you really get a really great experience overall when it comes to the, the coast. So there's something for everyone, the operator, the owner, the passenger and of course the driver. What's going on in North America, as you can imagine, we're bouncing back for a tough uh, two and a half years during COVID. The good news is the industry is coming back strong. The bad news is we're still having issues when it comes to getting access to parts and manpower to build those buses, right? So we're part of the Volvo Group. Uh, we have the benefit of being part of a large group, so we have access to a lot of resources. But again, we're manufacturing, we have a large supply base in North America. So we're going back to those pains of regrowing our volume and capacity. So we have two factories right now, one in the US uh, for the public, mainly dedicated to the public sector business, and one in Canada, in Quebec, actually on the outside of Quebec City. Basically, 85% uh, of our production out of ca our Canadian facilities is exported in the US, so that's our primary market. And you know, we have have a diversified market. We're the most diversified OEM because yes, we have the seated coach side of our business, but we do also have the what we call the shell, the conversion side, where basically we build motorhomes for the wealthy. Those goes from two to three million dollar US. We have the entertainer market, so every bands that are doing tours in North America, they're running on Prevo products. Again, this is a good market. Even the president of the United States owns two Prevo for when you go around so so again that's we're in a great position we've grown market share during the pandemic now we actually have about 45 percent of the market so in a we're really really actually in a strong position coming out of the market and coming out with a great new product like this actually is going to fuel our growth for the next couple of years